The site is horizonspill.com. Uh, Lou Roms, the founder of Beyond Horizon, talking with us on our program on the fan this Sunday morning. You know, people in the New York City metropolitan area obviously are seeing, um, hearing about the things that are going on there. Generally speaking, people like to help. What would you say to people who are listening to our discussion today about how it is that we might be able to help people who are affected by the spill? Well, I tell you, there there are several ways that people can help. Um, and I don't generally make a practice of pointing people to nonprofits because you have to always screen those nonprofits and and you know their reliability as far as where they send money over time uh, it varies, of course. Um, but I tell you, call your congressman, call your senators, and you know maybe do something selfless for a change. <laughs> and I say that not to pick on other states. But, you know, we're all about what we can do to help us when it comes to uh, lawmakers and our delegation from our states. You know, Louisiana has had to fight for the last five years or so to get any of the royalties that it deserves from the oil uh, that's being drilled off of our coastline. And we get far less of the royalties than any other state in the country does. And yet we produce a third of the oil. And... um, so I guess you, if you were looking for me to say this is how you can help in this bill, um, like I said, call your congressman, call your senator, and then you know there's countless nonprofits out there that are trying to help. But you know if uh, people want sustainable energy in this country and they want it to come from Louisiana still, then perhaps we can respond better as a state and as a region if we actually were able to collect the royalties from the oil that we do drill now and use some of that money to better protect our coast, to have more skimmers on board, to have dispersants in place, to have staff ready to respond. Not just to protect Louisiana, uh, but ultimately if we can get to a spill at its source when it starts, it protects the entire Gulf Coast. And the other thing in our discussion, you mentioned it a few moments ago, it's very important also to not forget those 11 people whose lives were lost in that explosion. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a personal tragedy to, to many, many families uh, here in Louisiana. And uh, interestingly enough, when this, when this happened, uh, I thought probably half, you know, a third to half of the people would be from the, uh, the Lafayette, Louisiana area, which is where I'm based between Lafayette and New Orleans, a split time between those two Mm -hmm. but uh, my kids family and everyone they're here in in Lafayette and I thought three four or five of those people were probably from Lafayette but turns out only one of them there were people from all over from Louisiana of course as you know from Mississippi as well as Texas Uh, so it's a personal tragedy and uh, there's a certain camaraderie when you're when your job is one of the most dangerous jobs yet one of the most needed jobs in the country is a camaraderie that exists and it's just like when, to be honest with you, I would compare it to when, to when a police officer or a fireman uh, is killed in the line of duty. Uh, it's just as personal a tragedy to that industry as it is to firemen and firefighters when they lose one of theirs. Lou Rom, the founder of Beyond Horizon, horizonspill.com, the site. Lou, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Bob.